Hello, welcome back to the second lesson of the Nox series. And in this lesson, we are going to uh, point our Namecheap domain to the Heroku app. So, uh, first of all, uh, we will add the custom domain at the Heroku app. We need to add two custom domain, one with the dot dot dot, one without the dot dot dot. And then we get the DNS target and put them in the Namecheap channel, one as the C name, one as the alias record. And then, uh, lastly, I will talk slightly about how to set up the CSS SSL certificate for the HTTPS connection. So first of all, I have my uh, designed uh, web page, which is a very simple one, uh, which is on the Heroku app now. And now, uh, let's go to the name sheet. And we have a tutorial here. Actually, it taught, teaches us how to point a domain to a Heroku app. So you can read this if you like. And uh, then we we'll go to our Heroku app. We will go to the app and go to the setting page, which is here, setting page. And then uh, when you scroll down, you can see I have activated the certificate and I have the domain name. So here you need to add domain and input something here. And what do you input here? You need to copy from, from the uh, name chip. So you need to copy this domain which you have registered to the add domain here. So here you need to uh, input two uh, custom domain. The first one is without the uh, dot 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 and the second one is with the dot dot dot. So now uh, after a while it should uh, tell you that they are okay. Now it will give you two DNS target. So you need to copy these two DNS target and uh, paste into the, the name chip. So here you go to uh, advanced DNS. So here when you go to name chip, you go to the dashboard and then you have the uh, domain list and then you can see the uh, domain which you have purchased. Go to manage and then uh, now you don't need to uh, look at this part. You just go to the advanced DNS here and in the advanced DNS there's, there are settings for you, the host records. So first of all, you need to have a C name record for the dot dot dot. And uh, you, you can uh, add new record here, or if you find it existing, you edit it here. So this one, you paste one, the one with the dot dot dot, this DNS target with the dot dot dot, uh, Quartic OX something. So you, you copy it and paste it in the C name record for the dot dot dot. And this one is auto, so you don't need to bother about it. And then for the one without the dot dot dot, for this DNS target, you put it into a alias record. And the host here, you type the add. And then here, you paste the DNS target. And then uh, after a while, after this one set up for a while, uh, you should see some OK here. And then uh, here, you can see that uh, our web page, uh, which is in the Heroku app, appears in the uh, domain name. We can access our web page with our newly purchased domain name. And uh, if you have met any problem, you can go to the Namecheap Live Support and the uh, customer service will uh, answer you very helpfully. So I have uh, asked him about one thing. So here, you see uh, in my web page, it has a ex exclamation mark here and it is said that it's not safe. Because this one is uh, an HTTP connection, but uh, I have uh, purchased here. I have set up the CSS SSL certificate in the Heroku. Uh, I configure SSL here, and if you do this step, you will need to uh, you will need to uh, go to the setting of your app, and then you have to choose and hobby hobby uh, for, for the dyno, so which will charge you uh, 7 US dollar each month, but it will uh, make your app quicker and you will have the SSL certificate, so which is very essential for the SEO, so this is worth it. And here if you choose add domain, you will first need to, if you do it for the first time, it will ask you to uh, in include your credit card uh, details. So you can uh, register your credit card detail so that you can use the custom domain function. And here, uh, I also have the SSL certificate. So uh, if you have purchased it, 
you go to product list uh, in the name sheet you go to product list you should see here a new product which is called SSL certificate and because I've already uh, followed the steps and uh, set up the certificate so uh, it will ask you to input the CSV uh, for your certificate so you follow the steps and go to a CSV generator to uh, generate your CSV and then paste it into your uh, certificate the activation one and then it will ask you to verify your email and uh, in the verification which is why I have to ask the CS, the name CS there uh, you can choose uh, something like uh, postmaster admin at learn together xk uh, postmaster at learn together xk something like that which I don't have access to and the correct email to choose is uh, the who is got one the who is got one is forwarding to your uh, registering emails which you have access to so I should choose the who is got one and now I have uh, after consulting the uh, uh, the customer service I have set up this one which is the safe one which is the HTTPS one so this is how to set up the SSL certificate for the uh, for the domaining connection so uh, I hope you like this video uh, if you have any question, feel free to ask in the comment section. And if you find this helpful, please uh, subscribe my channel. Thank you. Bye bye.